Hi, hey, everybody. everybody. Today we're here in Knoxville and we're going to go to the melting pot. Now, we've been to the one in Gatlinburg, but never the one here in Knoxville. You guys ready? Ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. We're here at the melting pot here in Knoxville, and we're gonna get a little fondue on. We've actually done this once before with Chris and Mindy, yes. and now we're gonna do it again. Are you excited for the melting pot, Dawn? Now you liked the last time we were here. And we're here at the melting pot and here is their menu. So they have pretty much different types of cocktails, but pretty much it's pretty basic. It's averaged about $50 a person. And they, they have this thing called fondue for two. They have a, um, a $90 version and then a $100 for two. So it's about $50 a person. The $99 one gives you better cuts of meat and stuff like that so but I guess you can order on a cart and they have um, spinach and artichoke and festa they have a Caesar salad strawberry almond Chris was saying in this scenario, the $94 one for two people is actually the better choice because you get to pick yes, th what you, you want. Create your own and pick uh, the three mates you want. Okay. The other one, you have to take what they offer. Here is the table, and you got this little cooktop on here. And last time we made a video, they're like, so you go to a restaurant <laughs> and you have to cook your own food. And, and, and technically that's it, but this is not like a typical restaurant. This is like, it's more of an experience to have a conversation and just, um, it, it's experience. Now this experience will take us at least an hour and a half, doesn't it normally? Two hours. Two hours so, so you better have time put aside because it, it's yes. like a two hour ordeal. Yes. We meet again, paper straw. And we're cooking nothing at the moment. They're supposed to bring out some cheese for us, right? I'm excited for the cheese. You like the cheese? So we ordered the Fiesta because they were out of the Quattro. Or qu Quattro is how you say it? Yeah, yeah. Quattro. Right, Dawn, are you excited? What, gross. What's the gross about? The paper style with the water don't taste oh. right. Everybody gets a different color stick. Mindy's got pink. And Chris has got red. And what'd you get, Don? I got purpley pink mauve. Purpley pink. And I got plain old white. <laughs> and that's so that we know, like, whose food is cooking in the pot. It's actually yeah. pretty ideal. It's pretty ingenious, actually. Better I be eating, like, Chris's shrimp. And I don't like yeah, Chris's and they shrimp. It kind of looks like a pitchfork. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. See the forks? Uh. You can have my shrimp. You have your shrimp? <laughs> Yeah, we're here in um, I was actually up hiking there today. How oh, did really? you guys make it here with the traffic? Because it looked horrible. <laughs> it, was <pretty> bad. <laughs> it was. It was. Uh, oh, you'll be okay. There is so much cheese actually, in here, cheese. and like such a little jalapeno. Oh, it's looking good. A little pepper on there, and we'll be good to go. <laughs> this is what we're gonna dip in that wonderful cheese. We got a little bit of bread and some carrots and of course uh, cauliflower, some apples. And what are the red things? Peppers. Peppers. Oh. Oh and there's some yellow pepper over there. Yeah. And we're gonna dip it in that cheese. Are you you're all ready to go, aren't you? Well let's see. What, you're not even gonna dip it in the cheese? I am. I am, I'm just joking. Bread and cheese. 
So Dawn's got a little bit of cheese on hers. And I want to see Chris. Chris is going to go. Show us how it's done. Mmm. It's good. And that's how and that's how you do it. That is. Chris, are, are you going to lick that plate over there? Is, is that how it works? Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> you know the last time we did the, the plate licking thing, people actually thought you were you were serious about it. It's a, kind of a joke. We were just like messing yeah. around and uh, anyway. So Dawn, what do you got going on there? A mess. A mess? Look at my cheese. Yeah, you got a big trail of cheese coming from the pot. Thicker than usual. Yeah. I'm going to put an apple in cheese. Is, it, is that a bad thing to do is put an apple in cheese? I think it's a fancy thing to do actually. Uh, I mean, that, that's, that's proper, right? Yes. Okay, we're going to put apple in cheese. Wow, look at that. I don't know. I think apple and cheese sounds pretty good. It's very, very fondue-y. Yes. <laughs> well, it's running a little bit on the low side for the cheese. And we still have some goodies left. Can you request a cheese refill? Um... You can do that. <laughs> I know if you pay for it, they'd probably do it. Yeah. <laughs> and this is their house salad. Yeah, it looks pretty good. You got some eggs and uh, just some croutons and cheese. and It looks really good. And of course, everybody got the exact same thing. <laughs> we actually did. And Chris was telling me, I remember this from last time. Chris says the garlic and wine seasoning is the bomb. And it is, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I love it. I'm digging in my salad. It's really good and tasty. You liking that salad? Mm -hmm. There's the bullion. Look at that. It's all nice and it's got some goodness swimming around in there. And uh, it's kind of like a hot tub. Hot tub for for meat and steak and chicken and, and vegetables. and. You can't beat that. No, no. So I got the steak lovers or the meat lovers. I think everybody did pretty much, except for Mindy. I think she got the classic, right? Yeah, classic. And but I like it. I like it. it looks like there's like 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 everything swimming around in there. Yeah, all the seasonings. Yeah. And veggies. And we're gonna cook our own food pretty quick here. It looks like they got a flaming turtle or something over there. Looking looking good. For our vegetables this evening, we have broccoli, potatoes, and mushrooms. And here's your search and rescue team, just in case you drop anything in one. That's what we do a lot, is we lose the meat at the bottom of the... <laughs> so here I have two of the steak lovers from the top down. We've got teriyaki sirloin, garlic peppercorn sirloin, and filet mignon. Ooh, it looks good. And then here I have the other steak lovers and... Classic. So here we've got the teriyaki sirloin garlic peppercorn sirloin filet mignon, teriyaki sirloin garlic peppercorn sirloin mint style dry rub pork or crusted chicken and shrimp. This evening we've got our gorgonzola pork which is a blue cheese dressing, teriyaki sauce, mild yogurt curry, ginger plum which is a sweet and sour, and our house special the green oh, wow. goddess made with cream cheese, sour cream, chives, parsley, and onions. Oh wow, looks good. Yeah, but... And it's a lot of people like to pour those in and let them cook yes. while they cook the rest of their food. That part's completely up to you all. Um, for everyone with the steak lovers, it's going to be super easy. Steak is just one to two minutes depending on how you like it cooked. Over here the shrimp is going to take about a minute and a half and the chicken and pork are going to take the longest at about three minutes. If you all have any questions about cook times or sauces, they are on the back of your table tent right over there, so you all can refer back to it. So look at all of that steak. Looks good. Very well seasoned. Of course, here's the vegetables. Do we pour the vegetables in there? Is yeah, that what we're going to do? do? Okay, if so we're going to... If you want the mushrooms. If you don't um, want the mushrooms, don't pour them in. Oh, I want mushrooms. I like mushrooms. We'll put the mushrooms. Put them oh, we can put them in separate, though. I mean, we'll we can leave them out. In there. Okay. So we're gonna put all that in there. You want you want to be the honors of put, put, putting that in there, Chris? Don't burn yourself, Chris. I'll try not to. Please do not burn. So we're going to put this. Yeah, and then you just pull them out randomly. Yeah. Oh yeah, be careful. Be careful. Don't burn. Did I splash you? Don't don't burn yourself there, Chris. Oh no, I'm okay. We don't need to go to the emergency tonight. And I think they're taking a nice little bath there. Oh, they look. It kind of looks like us when we're in a hot tub. Splish, splish. I was taking a bath <laughs> on a Saturday 
Oh, yeah. So Dawn grabs some of her beef, and you just put it in there. And and then about two to three minutes later, they'll be done. Okay, so I'm going to take this piece of meat here. It's a big one here. Yeah, this is a full top tub. And there's look at the size of that piece of meat. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna find some oh, something fell down in there. And this is where the colored sticks come into play. We all know where our stuff's at, right? Yes. And then when you put it in. I'm gonna take a little piece of this. And I'm gonna put this in here. And we're gonna we're gonna let these guys cook. Yeah, you're right, Chris. That is a full hot tub. Yeah. And I guess we wait. We we chill. We we have a conversation. And we'll say a little bit of grace. So I got my sauces all put in their little area on the plate. And we're just waiting for, well, the hot tub to cook them up, right? Yes. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to fish these out. Now, you got to be careful because you can lose your, your beef. I know. <laughs> you then, know? And then Will will take it. Now, look at that. It see, if it looks good. see if it's any good, huh? Oh, yes. yeah. Very well done to me. Yeah, it's actually perfect almost. Yes, yes. It is. And Dawn got a piece out of her beef, too, oh, huh? Oh, it's hot. Hot to the Yeah, be careful you don't burn yourself with the, with the skewer. Oh, yeah. Perfect, actually. Yes. And then you got your little sauces you can dip them in and... Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Here's my three cuts of beef, and I'm gonna... What do you think so far? So far, it's so good. I'm trying all different sauces with my meat. Are you? Anything yeah. good or bad, or...? Um, the teriyaki is interesting. It's pretty good. Um, now I'm gonna try that, whatever that is. <laughs> Ew, I'm not liking the crumbled cheese. That is cheese. I thought it was cucumbers. What are you thinking, Chris? I think it's awesome. What do you think, Mindy? It's really good. Yeah. That's why I always get a whole thing of this teriyaki stuff. It's good. Yeah, Chris got his own little cube over there. You're, you're just dipping that in there. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to dip it in this here. I don't... Green goddess. Is this the green goddess? Yes, that's for veggies. You might need more green goddess. And there's the mushroom with the green goddess. Goddess is good. Yes, I like the sauces. Uh, they've all been pretty good, actually. I like the uh, teriyaki. Of course, Chris got it right with that. And the mustard. I think it's like a mustard. It's not too bad, either. No, the mustard's not bad. But we still have plenty of um, beef, and we're, cooking. and we're cooking up a second round of them. Chris, oh, yeah. Chris and Mindy over there, uh, they're like, yeah. It's good. It's good. Do you like the sauce? I like the sauce. The sauce is good, huh? The sauce is good. <laughs> Here's our third round here. And the pot is still going pretty good over there. It's actually looking a lot better because all of the juices are coming. The, oh, ju yeah. the juices are coming together good, isn't it? Yes. Because you like the juices, don't you? I do. The juices like are good. You like the juice. <laughs> you like the juice, eh? The juice is very good, eh? You like, I like the, the juice. juice. You like the juice. <laughs> and we're pretty much done now. And we've been here for two hours, believe it or not. Pretty close to two hours. Yeah. And we haven't even gotten into dessert yet. We are officially finished with the the entree. We're cooling down the 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 pot. And now it's this you said this is the best part, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, the desserts, right? Yes. Yeah, the desserts are good, aren't they? The chocolate is good. Yeah, you like the chocolate, don't I you? I like the chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> you can't have any. You gotta watch us eat it. Oh, man. <laughs> flaming turtle chocolate. Ooh, flaming turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's on fire, Chris. Oomp. You gotta say oompa. <laughs> oh, wow. It puts out some heat, too. Yes, it's like a little miniature campfire since it's getting cold outside. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's like Cracker Barrel, but a little more. Baby, it's cold outside. Uh huh. Wow. For our dippers this evening, we have Rice Krispie Treats, Oreo Crusted Marshmallows, Waffle Pieces, Strawberry Banana Pineapple, Pound Cake Blondies, and Brownies. Ooh, and would brownies. you all like the candy pecans on top of the Absolutely, you all enjoy. Is there anything else at all that I can get for you this evening? No. Sorry, here's that fresh linen. Thanks. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Anything else? No, thank you so much. Wonderful, you're so welcome. Enjoy. And how are we going to be doing the checks this evening? Just one. Just one? Yes. You already told me that. Thank you so much for the Very good. Yeah. Ooh, okay, well, are you staring at it, Chris? You should be getting into that. Oh, man. I'll be the rude one that yeah, starts first. Because I like to be rude. <laughs> are we supposed to, like, stir that in here? Or just Probably. Just stir it. Sauce. Ooh, it looks so good. It looks so good. I want a brownie. Well, go ahead and try you're, it. You're kind of stirring. Are we supposed to use this? Yeah. So you put the brownie and the chocolate. That's got to be. That, that's not right to put Come a brownie on, and chocolate, Chris. I know. Dawn. Yes. And then they got a little bit of everything. We got the bananas. It won't come off. The cherry, uh, the, the the strawberries. We got even Rice Krispie treats. Rice Krispie oh, treats. That's my favorite. Yes. If you hold it against the bottom for a minute, it gets hot and the, it gets melty. Oh wow. The marshmallow and it gets melty. It smells really good. You can definitely smell the chocolate. Oh yeah. Crumbly. Well, I'm gonna do the brownie and the chocolate. The chocolate. If I dunk it, it Ooh, might fall apart. Look at that. I think I'm gonna try a little bit of waffle here. Waffle here. Is that waffles? Yeah, that's a waffle. The cool thing about the waffles, they're these great big deep pockets where you can really take advantage of the chocolate. I mean, you can really scoop this chocolate out of here. And um, look at that. That's a happy face right there. Mm -hmm. yes. That's because he's into that chocolate there. Yes. Yes, because he mm -hmm. likes the chocolate. Yes. Chocolate's good, huh? The chocolate's I think that's good. pound cake. Good. Is it pound cake? And, and here's the strawberry. Of course, we put the strawberry in the chocolate. Now, if there's any chocolate left over, do you just drink it? Probably. Yeah. I would. <laughs> <laughs> well, we finished it all, didn't we? Yes. And it's time to go. <laughs> it's kind of dark down in here. Here's a receipt. We had two Diet Cokes, two experiences for two, which are $100 each, and our total came out to $227.26. With tip, you're around $272.71. So our reservation was at 8.30. They set us down promptly at 8.30. It is now 11.30. So this is like a three-hour three ordeal. Hours. But that's what it's about. It's about just talking, having a good time. Yes. It's a real slow process. So. That might concern a lot of folks. Of course, there's always a train blowing its horn yes. as we are <laughs> doing the outro. What'd you guys think of it? It was, it was really good. good. It was definitely. I enjoyed it. This is a better experience than some of them have been. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that they actually brought out some more like, like desserts and stuff. So that was yes. kind of cool. Uh, yeah, it was a great time. This is definitely a special occasion type place because it could be very pricey. Well, folks, that's going to do it for today here in Knoxville, here at the Melty Pot. We love you all. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.